Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 Cradle of Civilization playing as Akku. Akkoyanlu. I don't know. People have tried to correct me in the comment section, but let's be honest, I'm probably never going to say it correctly and I'm getting a lot of conflicting reports on it. So we'll just stick with Akku for now. So, uh, I'm recording this on Wednesday, which means that Monday and Tuesday's videos have gone up and it's been very interesting to see the number of comments saying, please don't form Persia, form Rum or however you pronounce that, which is a new empire that was added in this expansion. It's intended for the Ottomans to be able to form it if they want to, but under the right circumstances, we could definitely do it ourselves, which is interesting. Um, I really want to form Persia because I know they're an older nation that have been in the game for a long time, but they do have that new theocratic feudalism mon uh, monarchy type, which is a new government, which makes them new and interesting to me. But is there anything really stopping me from doing both? I don't think so. The requirements to form Rum are pretty simple. One, the Byzantines and the Ottomans cannot exist. They have to be dead. Well, the Byzantines are already dead, and if I do want to blob out and kill the Ottomans, that's already on my agenda. So, check. No problem. We'll say that that's something I'm definitely going to do. Two, you have to conquer the right provinces in the uh, Turkey slash Anatolia region, plus like Constantinople. Okay, if I want to kill the Ottomans, I'm going to have to do that anyway. Sure, that's fine. Three, you have to be of like the Sunni faith. Okay, fine, done. And four, you have to be of the Turkish primary culture. Now, that might seem like a problem because we don't own any provinces in Turkish land. But... As at Koyunlu, we're kind of in the interesting, unique uh, position where Turkish is already my primary culture, even though I don't own any land here. In fact, as at Koyunlu, we're in the really unique position where as one, I think we're the only nation that really can naturally form the Persian nation, as long as we are not a tribe and we conquer the right land, and also form Rum. So, there you go. Actually, it's right here. There you go. The Sultanate of Rum. There it is. The Ottomans can't exist, and we have to own the right provinces, but otherwise, we're already there. Actually, it doesn't even say here that we have to have the Turkish primary culture, which is interesting. So, maybe that's not actually a requirement. I don't know. As far as I can tell, there's nothing stopping me from doing both. I think. Unless, like, as Persia, you have, like, a special restriction that you can't form Rum, or if you're at the Empire rank, you can't form it, but it doesn't say that anywhere. So maybe we can, maybe we can't. It is something we could consider. Early game, reform into an ICTA government. Early mid game, form Persia, blob. And then late game, kill the Ottomans, form Rum, and then unify Islam. Could be a good series, and it uh, gives you a couple attack switches, which are always a crowd pleaser. So, I don't know. I I'll think about that. If I can, I will. Let's try it. Uh, real quick, one thing I'm going to do. Since our tribal uh, allegiance is already ticking down, and pretty soon we're not going to be able to do anything... I'm just going to go ahead and train the horsemanship and get cavalry combat ability for the next 10 years, plus 15%. And that'll make it a little bit easier to kill these Georgian separatists. At least I hope it will. And bam. Okay, that was pretty effective. Must have rolled nicely. Let's go ahead and unsiege this land before it becomes too much of a problem. There we go. That's going away. I would like to have an advisor, but unfortunately I don't think we're going to be able to. At least not anytime soon. Uh, let's reduce my army maintenance. It is costing me way too much money. Okay. I do have enough money. I think I could form a church. Or a mosque. Sorry. 13's pretty decent. 10. 4. Do we build one? Yeah. Let's try to get a little bit more cash flow. Because I'm really struggling on the money front right now. Unfortunately. And it's just because I have so much cavalry. You know? Cavalry costs a lot. And we have a lot of bonuses to incentivize to get cavalry. But otherwise, ouch. It hurts. All right, we're at 100 uh, Spy Network. Let's go ahead and get our final claim against these guys. I could even support Rebels, which would cost me a bit of money, but otherwise, eh, I don't really see a reason to do that. Could threaten war against them, which they don't care about, but that's an interesting thought. Hmm. Anyway, let's go ahead and pull off of them, because they don't matter. I could spy against Gosham Rakamra. They're one of the few targets that I could expand into. Uh, so is Circassia, but they are a tributary of Crimea. So, that may not happen right now. I actually could rival Crimea, and I think I'll go ahead and do that. You never know. That could be pretty good. And if they're ever weak enough, maybe I do try to snag Circassia in some way. Could be fun. Military access from Austria. You're fighting Augsburg and Ulm, but you want military access from me. I don't know why, but okay. If that's what you want, I guess I shall give it to you. Weirdo. 
All right, uh, Ramazan, our royal marriage has ended with them. Excellent. I can go ahead and break off our alliance, which I will do. And that frees up a relationship slot that I could use for somebody else. What about a Jom? You want to be allies? Let's, uh, let's be allies with these guys. That's a lot better. I can definitely use that. They hate Kara. Maybe we can call them into a war at some point. Let's spend a little bit of time improving relations with them, I think. There we go. Max that out. All right, so now we have Ajam and the Mamluks. Now, Ajam is often in conflict with the Timurids, but the Timurids are kind of falling apart. The Timurid princes have done their civil war thing, and now they're crushing them. I think that they each, like, get, like, special claims to try and reform the Timurid Empire or something. There's some sort of mechanic going on there, but I'm not super-duper familiar with it. Still, it's something that's kind of interesting. All right, so I really want to kill Kara, but I can't do anything about that right now. We have a truce with them until... 1475. Now, this is a problem. Because I'm annexing a vassal, I'm annexing this guy and will finish before my truce expires. 1473. Now, you may say that's no big deal. Who cares? Why? It all comes down to the Diplo rep. Um, Diplo rep for me right now is only 0.54. Kind of pitiful, actually. And once we annex these guys, we're going to go into the negative for a while. Now, the reason that matters is because um, the Mamluks... I don't have a... I checked this in between videos, so... Let me wait until the end of the month. I'll pull this guy real quick. There we go. Take a quick look, see? There we go. All right. So, um, the Mamluks, right now, only have two positive reasons to join, and it's because I have very little Diplo rep. If I go into the negative, they'll have zero reasons to join. In fact, they'll only have negative reasons even after my truce expires. So unless I can find a way to get some Diplo rep back, the Mamluks are not going to help me, which is unfortunate because I'd be fighting them alone, and I really don't want to do that. But maybe we don't have a choice. We'll find out. Uh, did we lose our... No, we can't rival... We can't rival the Crimea anymore. We can't even rival the Ottomans. Have the out Ottomans outpaced me at this point? No, wait, what the heck? Crime... Circassia just took a lot of land from Gosham Rakamra. Oh, well, that means that this spy network is now useless. Okay, I guess we will spy on these guys. Wait. Oh, they just became a vassal of the Ottoman... Oh, okay, there's nothing I can do about that. Well, that's unfortunate now, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, the Ottomans have definitely outpaced me at this point. That's why we can't rival them. Eee, okay, scary. Um, let's hope that the Mamluks end up helping me. Let's see, these guys do have enough Liberty Desire. Let's make sure we are topped off with them. I do not want these guys to get enough Liberty Desire that I can't annex them. That would be a problem. I'm about to finish coring some land, which will be nice. I could do a royal marriage with them real quick, just to make sure that we stay topped off. That's actually probably fine, too. Royal marriage with them at this point doesn't matter. I mean, I lose a little bit of legitimacy, but meh. Merchants are suffering. Oh, no. I don't care. Absent merchant. And they're influencing their vassal. Makes sense. All right. Royal marriage, I think... So, right now, they're down to 39. Please don't tick up to 50, because then I won't be able to keep annexing you. That would be a problem for me, you know? Really don't want to see that happen. All right. Looking pretty good so far. Hoping that once they're gone, um, the relative power of Samshke will be low enough that they won't be rebe rebellious against me and I won't have to worry about placating them. Cyprus is transferring trade power to the Mamluks. Okay, that's fine. There goes some more stuff. And Shervin's no longer a valid rival. And they canceled their trade power with the Mamluks. Okay. Sure. So I lost another rival. Um... That leaves only the Mamluks. Well, that's not going to happen. Moorish refugees. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, Granada has fallen to the infidels. Ooh. Castile took it. Okay. With the uh, last jewel of Al-Andalus, a beacon of learning is now in Castilian hands. So I think this is basically very similar to the um, Byzantine refugees kind of event after the uh, Ottoman sack Constantinople. So we could actually get some tech cost, development cost, and idea cost reduction. That's really good. That's really good. I like that. Or lose prestige. No. No, I don't think that matters at all. I'll spend a little bit of power to get this. Heck yes. And it's a free development. I'll save, milita I'll save a lot of uh, monarch points by doing this for the next... Wow. 25 years. Super worth. Super duper worth. A talented judge. Acquiring an education in theology and law is often a long process. Have we seen this before? I don't remember anymore. Uh, Al Jazeera, less unrest in state maintenance and construction cost. And, or we get... No, I'll go ahead and take this. Al Jazeera, huh? Where is that? Al Jazeera? Wait, 
No, wait, where, where, where's Al Jazeera? Oh, it's an entire area. It's a state. Right. Oh, cool. So in this entire area, we now have a construction cost reduction, plus what we just got from the Moorish refugees. Wow. So mosques only cost 87 gold right now. If only I had the gold to take advantage of that. Oh, well. Did the flag of Theodoro get changed? That doesn't look like what it used to look like. I don't think. I think they changed the flag of Theodoro in this expansion. Why would you do that? Growing city requests privileges. Ooh, base tax. Uh, yes. I will accept that petition. We could form a state. It's only 12 development, but it's an option. Would I rather do that or save up for the tech before the penalty gets too bad? Probably save up for the tech. These guys are up to 47% liberty desire. What changed now? That's what I want to know. But it's still enough that I'm able to kill them. Hey, thank you, Mamluks, for giving me free monarch points. Uh, looks like they're giving me admin, which is awesome. I'll take that. Our royal marriage ended. No! Keep that. Thank you. I want to make sure that uh, the Mamluks still love me. And once again, Cyprus is giving over their trade power. Why? Crimea is a vassal of the o Ottomans. Really? Were they made into a march for a time? I think, yeah. Wow. Okay. There goes Crimea. The Ottomans are way too strong now. Oh, geez. That scares me. They're hostile. Let's uh, just improve a bit of relations with them for a minute. You never know. They may decide to do something. We can repay our loan. Barely. All right. I guess I'll do that, but it's not a lot of money left for me. Finish up those cores, please. Thank you. That's now done. Okay. Um, you don't have... Okay, 46. So we can still annex these guys. Good. As long as I don't have to sack my prestige into placating them, I'm a little bit happier with that. Maxed out relations with Ajam. Okay, that's still a pretty decent defensive alliance for me. So hopefully between the Mamluks and Ajam, the Ottomans aren't interested in killing me. But even so, doesn't hurt to make them like me more. Well, that's as much as we're going to get. The Ottomans have embraced the Renaissance. Good. So as long as they're friendly toward me, or at least positive opinion, we should be able to start getting the Renaissance a little bit faster. What the crap is going on with Cyprus and the Mamluks here? This is annoying me now. Stop it. Freaking stop it. Austria and France hate each other, but Austria doesn't hate the Ottomans. No! You need to hate the Ottomans. Everyone needs to hate the Ottomans. Come on! Okay, Cyprus, stop it. I'm, I'm getting annoyed seeing this. They don't know what their relationship is at this point. You know, if they had a Facebook status, it would say it's complicated. That's what's going on between the Cyprus and the Mamluks right about now. Okay, we could invest in some ideas. Do I want to go for the monthly autonomy change now? Or would I rather save it for the military tech because that's a cavalry upgrade, which is a lot of extra pips. Before the institution tech penalty gets too much worse. Um... Probably the military tech. We need a lot more, but we're working on it. We'll be there in just over a year. Yeah, I think we go for the military tech. In the meantime, I will grab the admin tech before things get too much worse here. Done. We'll get the ahead-of-time benefit for production and also reduce my corruption a little bit. That way I don't have to pay for it. In fact, if I can get the diplo tech, I'll start reducing my corruption for free and I don't have to waste any money, which would be very, very nice. Choose my vassal has ended. Don't care. Let's improve relations with them. Top it off. Uh, do you have any claims? Not against Shervin. Can I say that I want their land? Yes. Let's just make sure people understand that I want it. Um, Kara doesn't really matter right now. I can get a new rival. Shervin again. Uh, okay. Sure. Let's rival them back. I mean, hey. If we just outpace them again, that's extra power projection. I'm okay with it. Ajam is grabbing more lands. That's fun. They've got about 13,000 troops. Not a ton, but still. Could invite the Shafa'i Scholar for an extra merchant. I mean, it would translate into a little extra money. By the way, I did switch things around here. I'm not sure if I'm making the right choice here. I tried steering some money here, thinking that, hey, it's going to lead to some extra power in this region. But I don't think that's actually true. Let's collect from trade instead. Right now, I'm making how much money? 0.7 from trade. That's not a lot. And now it's 0.81 now that I'm collecting. Okay, yeah, better just keep collecting in Aleppo for a while. We'll do that. It's fine. Oh, crap, these guys didn't go up. Do I have to placate them now? Dang it all to heck! <sighs> Anything else I can do? No. No. Does not reduce liberty desire. Nope, nope, nope. I have to placate them. Gosh dang it, we were so close! 
There goes 20 prestige, but now we're going to be able to finish annexing them. All right. Improvements in government technology. Sure. Uh, for these guys, let us build a spy network against them, because pretty soon we're going to be able to start getting new claims. Sure. A royal marriage offer from Ajam. Sounds okay. Let's make sure we uh, keep that relationship going. All right. Best I can do at the moment. Gosh dang it all the heck. Ottomans declared war on Serbia. Well, it's about time. Military access. Decline. I don't see any reason to help you with that. It wouldn't do you any good anyway. Why would you? Sufi syncretism. All right. I think we've seen this before. Less legalistic approach. Uh, gain legalism. The ulema like us better. Local missionary strength in a province that I already have as Islamic, I think. It's here, right? No, they're Coptic. Well, it doesn't matter. I can't do anything with them for a while anyway. Um, might as well get the autonomy change and the loyalty and the legalism. There we go. So now we're at 79 legalism, which gives me even more tech cost reduction, more taxes, more manpower. And if I wanted to spend 50 legalism and move toward mysticism, I could actually just reduce my corruption by two for free, which is nice. Mostly, though, I want to see my freaking religious unity go down. Coffee and tobacco. More legalism? Local unrest? Ow! What's the unrest like right now? Ah! It would actually be a problem. Well, gosh dang it. Double down? Double down. I'm not, I mean, losing some mysticism does nothing for me right now. It does not help me. So I might as well just keep going for the tech cost reduction and try to reduce this as much as I can. Uh, Circassia. I, yeah, I guess. Go ahead. Go kill Serbia. It's fine. These guys are dead. We've integrated them now. There goes my Diplo rep, and we are down into the negative. That's going to hurt. Um, so, yeah, the Mamluks will not be willing to join. And uh, Ajam, if they did not... If they owe me favors, they'd be willing to, but otherwise, meh. Their war exhaustion is actually quite high. Yeah, nothing we can do there for the moment, but oh well. We get a bit more land. How's my uh, force limit? It's a little bit too much. Okay. Let us get rid of the cavalry because we have too many. Let's get rid of two infantry because we have too much. And that is our new army. So we are up to 15 troops, which might be more than I can handle at the moment. How much money are we losing? A lot. Of course we are. All right. Um, I could make some states, though, because this stuff is free. So let's take this, turn it into a state. It will get me money. It's free. Let's go to our states map mode here. Uh... We actually could create a couple of states. I'm not seeing the right area. Hang on. This area. Mm, we'd have to pay for these, but we could make states. It's one way to sack some admin power and try to get a bit more money and manpower, which we might have to do. We've had these long enough that their autonomy should be ticking down a bit, right? What's better? This one. Uh, if I made this into a state, in theory, once this autonomy goes down, we'd make a fair bit of money. Let's give it a shot. Core it. Your autonomy is 18%. So it's pretty low and still going down. 33 there, but I think we're starting to make a profit on this now. Of course, my religious unity is terrible, but oh well. What can you do? Yeah, losing money still. That's a problem. We need to get some rid of some forts. That's what we need to do. We cannot afford either of these, so let's do that. That at least makes me some money again. We have a larger army to work with. I want to drill them, but I can't. And now estates are demanding some land. Of course they are. All right, so it's basically the our version of the clergy and the nobility. Right, um, okay. If I gave something to the clergy, like this, would I get enough missionary strength that I could do something with them? It says local missionary strength plus two. If I gave them, like, let's say this, right? Megrelia, blah, 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 this one. It's not a state, so I can't. 1.9. If I gave them that, would it technically be enough to start converting them? Let's see what happens. Okay, we technically can convert them. It would take a thousand months, so it's not worth the money. But at least it's getting closer, kind of? I don't know. It's a bit of a pain to work with. Um, Alright, well, 
I guess I'll give this to them as well. Give them the Orthodox provinces. Anything that eventually will add up to being able to help me. Uh, are they happy now? Yes, they're happy. So now the Emirs. Um, something with good military development would be nice. Would this be enough to shut them up? Yes, they don't need that much though. They only need 10. I can give them something smaller. Eh, it's not great, but this would be enough. Alright, shut them up. Thank you. Alright, we're going to make a little bit of money again. Finished maxing out relations with them. How is their liberty desire now? It is still too darn high. Freaking heck. If I want to call them into any wars, I'm going to have to placate them now. And I want to kill the Karans, but I can't. Because I won't have any friends. I don't have friends anymore. I got rid of all of them. This is what happens, guys. It's a very lonely road. We're about to get some tech, though. Let's grab the Diplo tech. Trade efficiency. Ahead of time bonus. Start paying off that corruption. Military tech. Done. Grab that. And now I can upgrade my cavalry. So we'll get a few extra pips. So right now we only get... One shock and one uh, morale. We can improve that a little bit. To two shock. Well. It'll add up. It'll add up eventually. It's not too bad. By the way, with our army professionalism, we can now see that we get some extra benefits. It's just high enough we can see we get some siege ability, land fire damage, and shock damage. Which is awesome, because once we get that up really high toward the late game, in theory, that's a ton of siege ability. Which I want to do. Alright, we need to get some claims on these guys. Uh, what would I, what would I claim? Seven, six, six, eight. Probably would claim this if I could. I'll need 25, but that's something we'll have to do. All right, we're making two ducats a month right now. It's the best it's been for a while. If I could just get some more stability, maybe I go for an extra stability. Do I do it? My religious unity is so low, but I don't know if I can help it. Uh, yeah, let's get another stability that translates into more money. Also, when you're at plus one, uh, that prevents a lot of negative events that could really hurt me. So that's pretty good at least. Um. Okay, this is actually down to 166. We can start converting that finally. Let's do it. Stability helps with that too. Let's get a claim against Kara. Here, thank you. I'm just going to sit back and get as many claims as I can. When... We can actually rival both of our allies. Terrible idea. When does this expire? 1483! That's so long! Ugh... Not much I can do about that. France and Austria hate each other. Good. An architectural visionary. Construction cost reduction again. That's kind of cool. Age of discovery. Uh, we have war taxes already. I could go for the aggressive expansion impact, which is pretty good. Adaptive combat terrain. Uh, we looked at this before. I'm in... Wait, where's my capital? There it is. Highlands. There's three provinces where we could... Uh, sorry, two provinces where we could fight Kara... No, one. We own this one. Not very many places where this is going to be useful, unfortunately. Better against the Ottomans, but that's about it. I don't think that's a high priority right now. I don't need more cavalry. I can't afford what I've got. Claims bordering claims actually could be useful. What's my aggressive expansion looking like right now? Got a bit with Kara. Not much with anyone else. Circassia is really upset for some reason, but the Ottomans don't care. Actually, okay, you know what? Aggressive expansion doesn't ma matter. Being able to get claims connecting to other claims would make it easier for me to take whatever I want from Kara. Let's go ahead and grab that. So what this means is, even though technically Baghdad is a little far away, I could get a claim on it, and since that is an inland center of trade and I really want it, it'd be cheaper. I would love to get Baghdad. Let's give that a shot and see if that's an option for me. Did you just delete a unit? You did. Are you having money problems? Well, join the club! Also, does that reduce your, uh... Yay! They don't have too much liberty desire now. Thank you. Dulkadir is trying to kill Ramazan. That's rude of you, but the Mamluks would defend, so there's not much I can do. Hmm. Oh, Mamluks. If only, if only. Actually, they only have zero... Wait, no, they have negative reasons. Yeah, my diplomatic reputation is giving them minus ten reasons to do it. Playing the courts... While the Hanafi school is the officially sanctioned school of the Sultanate, there are many courts and qadis throughout our lands and all four of the schools of faith are deemed appropriate for civil procedures. Gain legalism, make the ulema like me again, lose some local goods and monthly autonomy for a little bit, or mysticism. 
We did just get all of the tech, right? So I don't technically need legalism for a while for the tech cost, but I could keep the taxes and the manpower. Here's what I'm wondering. What if I click this, get rid of my corruption? Bam. Okay. This goes down to, I guess, 39, and then start working toward mysticism. Of course, that gives me on the rest and state maintenance, too, so it's not great. Oh, I don't know. Um, then again, taxes and manpower are still good, but it's really a question of, do I want missionary strength? The answer is, if I could have it, yes, I would gladly take it, but... Mm, Morale of army is not that important. I think I stick with legalism for a bit longer. All right, we're up to 100 now. Maximum benefit. Manpower and taxes, up to 20. Best I can hope for, for now. Tribal feud, loses stability. My current heir died. What? I like this heir. Dang it all. All right, a 355 is technically better. But we lost the stability. <laughs> Which means I have to buy it again. No! I'm so annoyed by this. I need to do it because, one, I need to stop having those events, and two, I want to keep working on these guys. But it's taking forever. Gosh, dang it all. All right, fine. It is what it is, guys, but it's annoying. Hey, our truce has expired with Kara. Okay, so I can't call... I can't call anyone in. The Mamluks will be willing to join if I promise them land. The problem is, they're strong enough that I'm fairly confident they would get so much war score that I'd have to give them things like Baghdad, which I don't want to do. I don't want to give them land. The whole reason of me having favors is so that I can, you know, do stuff like kill them and not give them land. The question is, can I fight Gillen and Mushasha on my own? Now, granted, that's a one province minor. That's a two province minor. And I don't think Ajam would give them military access. And I'm questioning whether Luristan and Hassa would give them military access. So maybe it would be just me against Kara. Maybe. And in the process, I'd max out my legalism even further, which means I actually could afford to just sack this and then get free legalism to get back up to 75 and in the meantime, say goodbye to my corruption. That's actually kind of a th fun thought. Could be worth it. Could be. Uh, I want to get more claims, though, against, like, Baghdad and stuff. At the very minimum, I want to take Baghdad. I need to save up some admin power, by the way. Shervin is no longer a valid rival yet again. I do not want to rival my allies, so we're just going to have to accept the loss of power projection. Ottomans were spying on me. That's a bad sign. <laughs> Very bad sign, in fact. Um, all right, let's get a claim here against Baghdad. I could threaten war. They would not give me anything, but they, they I could try that. I mean, okay, I see 8,000 troops here, mostly infantry. My cavalry would crush them. If that's all you've got, and you have been weakened, you went bankrupt, I thought, um, maybe I could just win this straight up. Of course, I don't have a lot of money, so that's a problem. If I went up to full army maintenance, I mean, we have a little bit of reinforcement. Let's finish off our reinforcement real quick. Use up my manpower, get it back up there. What's my mission, by the way? Improve my prestige. Yeah, that's been working out well for me. Okay, anyway, get this back up to 15. Come on. All the way, please. All the way, please! Still not at 15. Whatever. Alright, so the reinforcements will go away. I'll be losing a bit of money, though. I don't know. We can afford to go to war for a few months. It's just a question of can I beat them quickly and resoundingly by myself? If yes... This is worth it. If not, then we need to wait until our Diplo rep expires so that I can call in the Mamluks and do it with favors instead. But that's until 1483, which is another eight years. A little bit too much. If you ask me. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, did you get any claims, vassal of mine? You didn't. You suck. Um, I think that's something we'll have to do on Monday, but... Yes, I think we're going to have to declare the war on our own. With our vassal, their liberty desire is low enough that they will assist me in the war. So that's another 4,000 plus my 5. That's 19 against 8 plus these guys plus anything else they have that I don't see. Which I could look on the ledger, but I'm just going to be kind of lazy right now and not do that. So yeah, I think we're going to declare the war on our own. Um, it's just going to be a little expensive and I need some admin power. But we can get there. We're actually generating a pretty reasonable amount of power across the board right now. It's not half bad. 
All right, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If you have any ideas on what I could be doing to improve or what I should be doing, let me know. I do think that we will form Persia, but I think that we can form Room as well. So rest assured, those of you who are asking for it, I think there's a good chance that that will in fact happen. I hope to see you all next time. I'll see you then.